Welcome to Pure Experiences. Many of the newcomers keep wondering what happens in the end? What is the outcome of spiritual seeking? What do you get in spirituality? What is the final achievement? Probably the logical and straightforward answer is you get whatever your goal is. Provided your goal is a spiritual goal, you will reach there. Here is a surprise. and here is a warning no matter what is your goal the outcome is mostly nothing sometimes it will look like that you have achieved your goal but that is a mirage that is simply another illusion spirituality is a continuous exploration if there is something to achieve and you have achieved it probably it is something insignificant and small it will be difficult for a newcomer to understand these things and so your guide and the senior seekers will never tell you that you are going to get nothing in the end it is kept secret because saying this to a newcomer will be very very premature most of them will not go forward because now this doubt will arise in their mind if there is nothing to achieve everybody is saying including my guide including this video on youtube then why should i take this trouble of doing the practices finding the guide running on this path and that path and tolerating this mindless strange circus of spirituality fortunately or unfortunately nothing is achieved this is the truth it is not told to newcomers so that they don't get discouraged ultimately your seeking will not be to gain something your seeking will lead to a loss probably your goal is to lose few things but it is very rare for a newcomer to have this kind of goal they always want something and that is why i want to make it clear that whatever you want will lose its charm in one day even if you get it everything is impermanent whatever you get will not remain and whatever you thought is mine will be lost this can sound terrifying but i have no better words or sugar coated words to tell you and of course you are free to disbelieve me because the rosy picture that you have of spirituality is ultimately beneficial for you it will propel you on your path remember the journey is more important than the destination in the context of spirituality what you learn walking on the path will be of much more value than what you get in the end probably you expect too much there is no gold pot in the end of spiritual rainbow even if you don't believe me keep this in your mind your disappointment will reduce a little bit so the question is will nothing happen will there be no change at all and uh, the good news is you can expect some changes as a newcomer you won't like what i'm going to tell you nobody likes to have these kind of changes but they happen the first thing that will happen is after knowing the truth there will be complete detachment from the world not only from the world from your relatives from your friends also from your own body and this mind which you think is me this is the beginning phase of detachment and detachment here simply means that it will all seem totally unimportant there are more meanings of the word detachment but probably a newcomer has no concern about that just understand this much that they lose their value in the next phase there will be detachment from spirituality itself it will look like a drama it will look like an unnecessary effort you will be detached from your practice it will seem to be totally unnecessary and unimportant then the next thing to go away is your own guru remember water flows from higher to lower and once the level is matched nothing flows same way teachings knowledge inspiration flows from your guru to you who is a seeker as long as there is a gap in knowledge after a while there is nothing to teach nothing to get nothing to be inspired about the seeker becomes guru and finally there will be detachment from your goal itself whatever goal you had set up 
and you are making all the efforts to reach there once you reach there it will worth nothing in short you can say that all will be dropped everything is dropped can we call it an achievement not right now right now it will look like a total loss especially to those who have a strong ego and when you drop everything you get everything this is the puzzle what is it that you will get you will arrive back in your true nature and what is your true nature it is simply peace and bliss nothing big simplicity ordinariness you won't become somebody big you won't become somebody powerful transcended extended and whatever they call these people you will become ordinary peaceful blissful person if you don't then you are still a seeker you are still hoping for something to happen as long as there is this hope your seeking will continue that cannot be called arriving when nothing is left to achieve that is the biggest achievement since you are already whole and complete even after losing everything you will remain whole and complete now this completeness this perfection that you are will shine that's all will happen just like when you clean up a diamond that is lying in a coal mine of all the dirt the diamond shines it was already shiny diamond it was simply covered up in all kinds of dirt and probably that is the achievement cleaning of the dirt cleaning of your delusion that you are something else and you need to achieve something to become something great this is the dirt ultimately the realization is there is nothing to achieve now you can party now you can celebrate even though from a distant it looks terrible when you reach there it will be endless celebration only it is not reaching anywhere it is coming back to your home it is return to your home if you want to call it an achievement most welcome if you want to call the detachment and the dropping and all that you are going to lose as achievement sure that is fine and in the end if you don't get anything don't be frustrated because that is how it is and if you do not understand the meaning of these cryptic sentences that is also very good that means you are ready to go however there is no real loss there is a real loss if you find yourself in one of the spiritual traps you are walking on a path but it is full of dangers it is one thing to not achieve anything but uh, the worst that can happen is falling into a pit on the path that is the real danger i am going to give some examples of the dangers although there are many of them depending on the path practices gurus and what not there are many variables some of it can go wrong murphy's laws are applicable in the field of spirituality also the first danger is having a wrong goal what is a wrong goal something which is tiny something which is petty something which is worldly something which is not worth doing any effort for which you don't need any spiritual path you don't need any guide you don't need any practice if you set out with these goals then you will be pursuing something which is totally useless from a spiritual point of view the second danger is choosing a wrong path it can happen initially that your goal is north and you take a train to south it is possible but some people keep walking on a wrong path hoping to reach their destination probably they don't know what is the right path probably nobody is guiding them and they waste a lot of time some people waste whole of their lives thinking that their path will take them somewhere i have seen that in spirituality nobody likes to correct anybody i am doing this great practice these days and everybody will support you most lovingly you are a great seeker continue this is politeness or you can say unconditional love that people think that if i correct this person he may feel bad probably i am wrong he is walking on the correct path so this can be harmful for the seeker that nobody is pointing out the obvious mistake so obviously you need somebody who will give you a bitter pill and that is your guide that is your guru but what if you get a wrong guru 
that is a very big danger there are fakes there are frauds there are pretentious gurus spirituality is not uh, something holy and heavenly it is also corrupted just like everything else in this world not finding a good guru is the biggest danger you will get caught in their trap in that cult it can suffer forever once the mind is poisoned it is like a virus it is impossible to get rid of it that is the biggest danger falling into some kind of mindless extremist path with some kind of crazy guru if you are saved from these three pits traps many will land in the pit of wrong practice where they keep doing something which is harmful or which is useless which is superstitious blind belief hoping to reach somewhere it is easy to see that you made a mistake in choosing the goal or path or the guru is not right but it is very difficult to see that somebody is doing a wrong practice you will come to know its harmful effects only after many many years that is the danger some people start on spiritual paths or they start doing spiritual practices without knowing anything about them or they know something which they think is the right knowledge not having the right knowledge proven knowledge is very dangerous having half knowledge is the most dangerous thing so always ensure that uh, the knowledge that you are receiving about uh, whatever the teachings are provable they have hard evidence behind them they are as per your direct experience they are logical and rational that is right knowledge many seekers get attached to their spiritual practices or paths or traditions or gurus or there is intellectual attachment of their intellectual achievements although they are detached from the worldly things but the attachment uh, takes the form of these things cannot let go of practices cannot let go of their guide if they are on a inferior path nobody can convince them to progress towards something better there is fear there is attachment this happens to seekers also some do not know what is spirituality they keep doing something which looks like spirituality but is empty rituals or mindless worship of some kind that is a big danger nobody is there to guide them and probably they don't want to listen to anybody also because they are so convinced that what i am doing is the right thing and fortunately there is no way out of this trap of false spirituality some people want to use spiritual means to gain something material or some people they turn spirituality into accumulation of some kind i got all the books of spirituality i got the yoga mats and i opened a yoga studio i have 20 gurus in my list i bought them all and i have these statues now these photos of great people and these malas and crystals and all kinds of trash accumulation or there can be intellectual accumulation like i have read 1000 scriptures i know all the ancient languages i know all the rituals even the long lost rituals of amazon forest so instead of losing they are accumulating this can be called spiritual materialism because the mentality of materialistic person is carried over into spirituality the person is still there and the person is still doing the same thing it is now coated in this color of spirituality there is a danger in falling into the trap of paths where the seeker keeps changing the paths not settling on any sometimes the talented seekers they get some powers or abilities extraordinary abilities and they start using it remember that using these abilities or powers is always a misuse they are not to be used because that can be called an action and all actions have consequences so using them causes retardation no progress although this is very rare but uh, those who gain powers their progress stops because they are uh, mesmerized by their abilities the problem is as soon as the progress stops and the consequences start arriving they lose these abilities remember these abilities are a result of your progress and uh, it is a trap so when you start using them the progress stops regress happens and the abilities leave you 
they are lost so the way out of this danger is cultivating detachment towards these abilities yes you can have fun for few days but do not make it your business do not keep using them these powers or abilities should enhance your knowledge that this is also possible something which i thought was impossible against the physical laws is possible that is the true use of your powers and abilities they should uh, liberate you not trap you then there is this trap of hubris hubris can happen because of powers or it can happen because of uh, accumulation sometimes you join a shiny path with a great guru and that can cause a lot of arrogance and as i said half knowledge gives rise to arrogance or hubris a superiority complex can arise in the seeker and that is the cause of fall not of progress it is a trap knowledge makes a person humble knowledge is destruction of ego spiritual progress is loss of hubris becoming small and ordinary i know nobody agrees with these things nowadays but uh, this is the reality this is what true spirituality looks like it is unattractive to an ordinary ego but if there is ego sooner or later it will trap you into some kind of hubris and in worst cases it becomes megalomania which means i have become the greatest now everybody is now my slave inferior cattle so this god complex can arise later in the path when the seeker thinks that they have they are achieving something they are reaching somewhere it can be very real there are some paths there are some cults mostly frauds who encourage this kind of mentality that you will become something great join us you will become somebody special you are the chosen one and uh, so on but uh, this is stupidity not only that it is a big danger when somebody is in a cult they are forever trapped there because it is a mental prison they are brainwashed into thinking that being a slave of the cult is is the greatest thing so not only you are a slave now you are happy to be their slaves whomever is controlling you is already fallen but your fall is guaranteed there are more dangers like getting trapped in various superstitions extremist religions or becoming a part of a community a crowd of people who think like you that is not uh, independence that is not freedom that is uh, life sentence in that community hopefully everybody knows these things so i am not going to elaborate too much on it if you do some kind of practices that are not suitable for you there is a danger of suffering if it causes pain for few days it is okay but some practices can give you life long pain diseases discomforts which no doctor can cure because remember this is not uh, your uh, physical disease doctors have no clue about uh, spirituality some have but they have no cure of it some gurus know how to treat these uh, discomforts but not all nobody even knows about uh, these things so doing a wrong practice is really dangerous you must have heard that uh, this the spiritual people are somewhat crazy but this is not uh, only a joke sometimes some practices can cause mental disturbances that can last for whole life so i don't want to terrify people here newcomers i just want to warn you that as soon as you see these signs you should alert yourself and take some precautions get out of that situation now you know what are the dangers so your chances of encountering them will be less and if you encounter them or you fall in one of these traps there is a good chance that you will be able to get out of it simply because you know about it remember there are millions of seekers who do not know all these things there are thousands who are trapped many are hopelessly gone they have wasted their lives the intention here is not to scare you about spirituality not to stop you from joining spirituality but to warn you that do not take it so lightly it is fun yes but that fun can be spoiled by these mistakes and errors ultimately it totally depends on your guide because 
a seeker is not expected to know all these things so having a good guide is a good luck because even if you fall in one of these traps an experienced guide can take you out of it you can see that your guide or your guru is the axle around which all these wheels of spirituality are spinning this series is nothing but little bit of guidance